Hey guys, it's me again, and um, I just wanted to start off my um school five day looks. So I'm gonna be doing five days of school looks. Today's the makeup look. Tomorrow is going to be the hair look. The day after that's going to be um like how to dress or like outfits, and then I don't know what the next two are gonna be, but. Yeah, so, I'm just going to jump right into it. So, first, taking my concealer, I'm applying that little dot right under my circles and at my T-zones. I'm also applying this to my nose because my nose is like... Two, two shades darker than my the rest of my face so oops. so yeah don't rub dab when you're doing this because if you rub it'll just make it look fake I also have concealer, pet, a uh, sponge, and brush, but I just think that fingers work better. So I am going to. Use, so you could. I'm smearing this over my nose and then just dabbing again, not rubbing. Okay. Whoa, where'd my kabuki brush? Okay, so now to set that, I am taking my e.l.f. compressed powder. And I'm not using the applicator sponge that comes with it because it just makes my skin way too dark. So I'm just taking my kabuki brush and just applying that so it sets. Now taking my MAC bronzer and brushed metal, I'm going to apply that to where I would naturally get a face tan. So I'm going to do that now. Okay, so I did that, and now I'm taking my MAC um, Blush in Plum, and just applying that to my cheek. Okay, now taking my e.l.f. Eyelid Primer or anything else. Okay guys, so now taking my e.l.f. eyelid primer, I'm going to put that on my lids and just smudge that in. Again, dabbing, not rubbing. Now, this is a look I personally wouldn't wear to school. I mean, I do apply the concealer just to get rid of my circles. I don't apply the bronzer or powder. I do apply the um, primer, but yeah. So now, taking my um, palette, I am going to take... Open! Now, oops, taking my powder brush, 
I am going to take um, a color that is closest to my skin tone and just apply that to the lid. Just to get rid of some of that lightness that the primer brought. Okay, now taking this bright pink, uh, I'm going to apply that to my inner and outer corner and just smudge it with my smudging brush to the inside of my lid. And if you want the color to be darker, you can also add this purple, which I am doing. Okay, so now taking my smudging brush, I'm going to smudge it in. Okay. Now taking this brush again, I'm just going to clean it off a little. I'm going to apply, where is it, this light blue-ish turquoise color to the crease but just a little bit and you can do your eye color see I have like bluey green eyes so that's why I'm applying this so apply in the crease whatever color is closest to your eye color and again smudge Now that's the lid, so I'm done with this palette for now. Oops, I want you close. Okay. So I'm done with that palette. So taking my Guilty Pleasures do, uh, triple palette, I'm going to take the darkest chocolate color, take this brush, and just apply to the crease and you're done with this brush I know it looks really stupid right now but it'll look better once you're done so taking your smudging brush you're just gonna smudge to the inner corner And you can apply more if you want. Okay, so that's it. It's just, I call it the brown smoky eye. It's not really a smoky eye, but that's just what I call it. Okay. So now, don't forget to curl your lashes. So curl your lashes. And apply a volumizing or length, um, or like something that makes your uh, lashes look longer. Any mascara that makes your eyes look fuller or longer or both. I'm using a fuller because my lashes are pretty long but not very full. So apply.
Okay guys, so this is the finished look. You can make the eyes darker or lighter if you want. Um, but yeah, this is my um, school makeup look. And tomorrow I will be doing an outfit or hair look, either one. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you next time. Bye!